Okay, so we're back again, and this time we're going to be uh, creating the page that allows the user to change their details that are associated with their account. So anything that they've registered with, um, we are going to allow them to change. Well, not everything. Um, in this example, we're going to be allowing the user to update their first name, last name, or email address. Now, obviously, within your system, you, have, you may have different requirements, so you may have additional fields. Um, this will basically go through updating fields in a way that, you know, if you need to add any more fields to this, then it's going to make it, um, it's, it's not going to make it difficult. Uh, so essentially we, what we're doing here is we're updating our database. So we're going to create, go ahead and the first step is to create another page. Um, we're then going to create a, a, fee, a form that's going to hold all this data and we're going to pull in the data that's currently associated with this logged in user. And then we're going to submit the form as we usually would. We're going to go through the error error checking or the form validation, um, spit out any errors if there are any. And if everything is OK, then we are going to um, update the user's details and then tell them everything went OK. So it's more or less the same process as we did with a register page. And we're going to be using a lot of... Um, of the concepts from the register page and some chunks of code. Uh, it's not always good to validate code but this is a really great way to go back and go over what we've already done if anyone didn't quite understand. Um, you know and it also gives you the opportunity to look at doing things in a slightly different way uh, which we'll see with inside the, the function that we're going to use to update users details. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create a new page. So um, I've got this logged in.php widget open, which is what you see here. Um, and I'm going to be adding a new menu item to this. Um, I might, may as well go ahead and do it now. Uh, so I'm going to create the menu item settings. I guess they're not necessarily settings, it's more like profile information. Um, but you know, this is going to be a general place where we're going to have any, any kinds of settings. Uh, we've obviously already got changed password here, which is uh, a page in its own right. Okay, so that's added this here. We obviously don't have this page at the moment, so we need to go ahead and create that. So let's go ahead and open up a page that we already have um, that we know needs to have a user access or, or needs to have a logged in user to be able to access, and that's change password. So remember, we've got includes of core, protecting the page, including the header. So let's go ahead and just copy all of this and be lazy, paste it all over here uh, and save this out as settings.php and let's go ahead and get rid of the bits we don't need for now which will be this and all of this. So we've ended up with including our core file, we've, we're protecting the page against people that aren't logged in because obviously there's no point updating settings if you're not logged in or information if you're not logged in and we're including the header and footer. So let's go ahead and refresh, uh, click here, nothing. Uh, we've got our template but we haven't got any content which is to be expected because we haven't placed anything in here yet. So let's go ahead and just start to quickly build this form up uh, and then we'll go on to the PHP side of things and you know actually going through and validating this data. So we're going to be allowing the user to update the first name, last name and email address. So let's go ahead and create a form. So the action is going to be blank. We're going to be uh, passing the data to this page, processing on this page. Uh, the method is going to be post. We need uh, an unordered list here. And obviously our list items inside. So in here, uh, the first one's first name. We'll just put a little asterisk, asterisk there to show that that's required. Um, in fact, uh, yeah. Oops, I've just gone and closed that page. Let's go and open that up again. Settings. Um, yeah, we'll leave the asterisks in there. And let's go ahead and create the uh, field here. So type equals text. Um, the name for this, we're just going to keep with the same name convention. So remember, we have first underscore name uh, for name. Let's just go over here to our database. We've got first underscore name, last underscore name, email. So we're going to keep the same names as that we as we did in the uh, initial registration process. Um, so that looks about it for that one. Let's just preview what that looks like at the moment. Brilliant. Uh, let's just go ahead and give it give this a header up here. I haven't done that yet. So I'm just going to call this page settings. Pull that up a bit. 
there we go okay so we've got the first name in there um, let's go let's essentially just go ahead and duplicate this uh, obviously not entirely because we need to modify this so last name and then here will be email um, I'm gonna get rid of these asterisks because they're annoying um, so here will be last name and this will be email and let's just refresh perfect and last list item will be the submit button so input type equals submit and I'm going to give this a value that obviously corresponds to the action which is going to be update so now we have uh, the ability to enter first last name and email address um, what we actually need to do is because the user's already logged in they will have a first name they will have a last name stored well they may not do but you know that was an optional field um, and with email address they'll have an email address obviously because they've gone through the activation process so what we need to do is inject this data into these form fields so it displays here there's no good leaving these blank we we're updating our settings we're not adding any settings so what we need to do here is we need to say value equals something uh, so in here what we can do is we can actually utilize uh, if we go over to core and init remember here we grabbed all of this user data so we basically specified the fields that we wanted to grab um, and that returned it into this user data array here so we've got we've got uh, first name last name and email so we can use them within our um, settings page so I'm going to open PHP tags and close them within here I'm going to echo user data because it's an array I use square brackets to access each element and in here I'm going to say first underscore name I'll go ahead and I'll copy and paste this it's going to be a lot quicker this way and this is obviously last name and then email is just email so now what's going to happen when I refresh is that places all of the data that's um, you know currently associated with me within these fields um, and therefore what I can do is go ahead and, and change this data and then you know pass it through to this update process that we're going to create um, and then these fields will be updated and then obviously they'll change again to reflect the, the current data so we've done that now uh, now what we need to go ahead and do is actually start to validate uh, this information so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be uh, well, I'm given the ability to go ahead and type another name in which is actually my name this time click update and this this uh, this page just refreshed then it was so quick that you didn't see it but the page refreshed um, but that will then take us through to a confirmation message to to let us know that it's uh, everything's gone okay so up here within uh, where we are inside PHP inside a PHP tag uh, we need to go ahead and start to validate this so what I'm going to do is just close any uh, f f files that I don't need open um, init.php I don't need open and I'm going to go ahead and open up register now the reason I'm opening up register is because register uses uh, some aspects and we can look at this and how everything's laid out uh, to actually process this uh, successfully so the first thing we do is check if any post if, if the post data uh, that from this form uh, the array that's been sent by this form um, or processed it is due to be processed is not empty so we need to say if dollar underscore uh, sorry if empty dollar underscore post within that is equal to false that means that we have some data so we can go ahead and start to process here uh, now here we've got this when, when we create the registration script we have this required fields array which is going to be useful to us now we have um, all of the fields um, uh, you know uh, are required in actual fact I'm going to go ahead and put these asterisks in because it's going to make a lot more sense to the user oh and last name is not required so we're going to do exactly the same thing here but I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste what I've already done here I will quickly run over it just so for anyone that didn't understand this uh, it's going to be a lot easier for you so first name and email are required now last name is not required so what happens here then well we uh, define this array and, and place the elements within it 
and then we loop through all of the posted data so we loop through the first loop will be the first name last name then email now if it's empty and it's in this array then that's a problem so we set an error and remember this errors array is something that we defined in our init.php file and um, that just holds uh, any errors that we might come across uh, so we loop through the data and basically check that anything that's required is actually required and then we go on down here to do some more validation uh, and that will be in the next part of the video.